What's going on, everybody? Doc Average Gamer Guys back yet again. More Escape from Tarkov action. And jumping into the first of this wipe's set of challenges, which I think is going to be interesting. So if you're a fan of the channel, you know that last wipe, as I progressed through the hardcore series and this, uh, this wipe, as I progressed through the escape series, and as we progress in our main account, um, I like to get to a point where I like to vary up the gameplay a little bit and throw out some fun, interesting little challenges to do. Um, so if you're familiar, we did the snowball challenge. Uh, which was a ton of fun, and we'll certainly be doing that again uh, for this wipe uh, as we get through on some of these challenges and mix some of the gameplay up. In addition, we did um, a couple other just really fun ones. We would we did some weapon testing, which is not necessarily a challenge, more of just kind of running some raids with a specific weapon, but I really enjoyed those, and uh, we'll certainly be jumping into a few of them as well. But for this one, this is a new one for us. So this is something that I, uh, I've i seen done in a couple of different types of iterations and I thought would be really interesting. We're going to basically do a scav to riches uh, kind, of, kind of challenge. The variation here is going to be is that we're going to jump in with our scav and uh, whatever scav loadout you have, you can go wherever you, wherever you so choose to go. And um, you have to obviously get out of that map. Uh, and whatever you get out of that map on your scav with is the loadout that you have to choose from for your next map uh, to run with your PMC. The end goal of this challenge is to make as much money as possible. So at the end of all of it, you'll sell all of the barter items. You'll sell everything basically to the traders, very much like we did for the Snowball series. Everything will go to the trader. Uh, obviously, if there's something that you want to keep, certainly keep that. Um, but, uh, the goal here is to take a scav and then run a PMC raid and make the most money that you can with those two things combined. Um, now for this challenge, the one, uh, really big key thing is going to be is, uh, is, is ammo and your gear. Whatever you pull out of that scav raid is what you have to take into that PMC raid. So hopefully you get lucky and obviously have a good scav. This is going to be very dependent on your scav karma. Hopefully everybody's is pretty high. I'm very close to six at this point. So my scav loadouts are actually pretty good. Um, but uh, we're going to jump in. We're going to run it. Obviously in your scav raid, if you find other scavs, if you find other PMCs and you get their gear, you can certainly run that uh, in the next, uh, in the next uh, set of raids. I will also allow, uh, because of the dynamic loot changes, I'm going to allow you to take whatever keys you want into your PMC raid uh, specific to uh, your map. Uh, the one limiting factor here is going to be no labs unless in your scav you get a labs keycard or you find a labs keycard. Let's say you kill Rishala and grab one. Then I think it's fair to allow you to go there. Um, but uh, you can't just buy a labs keycard and then run your PMC on labs. Although the loot isn't super great there, the radar gear is very, very good. So you could certainly make a lot of money off that. So we're going to jump in. I am going to uh, run my scav and uh, then we'll jump over to the PMC and we'll end up seeing how we do. We'll see you in the raid. All right. So we got a pretty good scav here. We are in factory. A lot of stuff popping off here too. Armor and a decent gun. I'm gonna do is just pull back here. I heard a lot of shots over this way. A lot of shots over by the office area, too. That PMC right there. Very much big risk reward here.
The fighting must have been underneath, I guess. I guess it would have had to have been. I think some uh, meds here is really good. Don't shoot me, bud. Wanted this guy's dog tag, that'll sell. Let's see about just getting out of here, maybe. Got some meds. We'll take it. I think that's solid. Not great ammo, but honestly, we got armor. We can swap out that vest. We're in a good spot here. We can make some things happen. Backpack, too. A couple things that we can sell, which is really good, but we got some meds, which is nice. Make sure that you have enough space for all of the things that you're going to get. Uh, is a concern. Alright. Good deal. We got our loadout. So we'll get uh, geared up here and jump into our PMC. Going shoreline. Into shoreline we go. Hmm. Interesting spawn. By no means a bad spawn. Want everybody to see. So I don't have anything in my container here. But I am going to container things as we go. Just wish I had a set of ears. Dead am I? Oh, just winged me. I wonder if we hurt him at all. <laughs> Such bad. <laughs> I cannot take another heavy bleed. in trouble if that happens. My guess is that they moved in.
Here's what I do, I think. We're gonna wrap around. Hopefully they're not also wrapping around. Oh gosh. That sucks because we have a decent weapon there with like a scope on it. Good chance we kill at least one of those guys. Yeah, I'm imagining that they... Well, I tried to get into the resort. Maybe that guy thought he killed me. PMC kill would be nice. Certainly if they're running some okay gear. That guy... I'm not sure what he shot me with. But to take the arm out... Had to be pretty decent. hate not having ears. Suck. Just trying to see if I can catch any movement. One thing I'm looking for is right here. Just to see if they went into admin. That's going to be my first spot, I think. Decent loot opportunities in there. We can take a look at a few things. Maybe we could to far wing. Although east, I think, is probably better at this point. Try to not run into anybody. That guy scared the shit out of me. Damn! <laughs> that guy scared the shit out of me. <laughs> he was just standing in the hallway. Oh my. Dang it. <laughs> that was fun. God, I did not hit him hardly at all. Why was he running then? He was using a VPO. <laughs> I did hit that guy. 
Oh, probably only one shot there. That was a fun little fight. What would he killed me with? Yeah, AP. Okay, so he's the one who tagged me in the arm from really, really far away. And then it looks like I just took... I think I just took one additional shot to the thorax there. Nah, he definitely hit me again. Maybe that... Maybe he hit me twice. <laughs> hit me in the arm in that first exchange inside the building, and then he, he thoraxed me. GG's. That was fun. That was fun. Very interesting little... uh <laughs> little challenge here. I don't think having a set of, I don't think having a headset would have helped me there. That was a fun fight. So how did we do here? I'm surprised they went into admin. But sell these things off. Sell this off. How do we do? 55. 50, 54, 998 for our first scavs to riches challenge. Uh, so that, that was a ton of fun. Here's the cool part about this challenge that I like is, and there's a couple different variations on this. You can run your scav, sell all the stuff, and then use the rubles to buy things. I've seen people do that. I think Deadly Slob has uh, done that before. Um, and I think that's an interesting way to do it too. I like the added additional challenge of like, trying to use kind of your shitty scav gear in order to go into a raid, um, which honestly, we had pretty good gear. I think if we have slightly better ammo, <clears throat> we stand maybe a little bit better of a chance and obviously a headset. If we had had those two things, I think we would have been in a really good position, but that was really fun. The cool part about it is it costs us literally nothing. Um, so we still made the 54,000 rubles off of the scav run. Um, obviously, we could have made a little bit more if we would have just sold all the gear, but... We got a chance to go in and uh, and run a fun raid and uh, get into a little bit of action. And I, I would have loved to actually kill that guy. That would have been a, that would have been a blast. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this. This is a fun challenge. If you're looking for something to mix up your gameplay a little bit, I definitely recommend it. This is the first time I've done it, but uh, that was fun. And that that fight there was was pretty interesting. Now, if that guy was way more geared, <laughs> that probably wouldn't have been <laughs> as fun because he probably would have just stood there and shot me while I tried to run away. Uh, but that was uh, that was interesting. I like Shoreline. Good diversity. Uh, we did get into that long range engagement right there up front, and you know, if it goes a little differently and we get a lucky head tap, you know, we're we're having a different uh, situation at this point. But um, yeah, give it a try, test it out. We'll be doing more of these challenge videos and challenge series. Like I said, I'm going to be jumping back into our snowball series and uh, a couple of other ones that uh, I've seen that are really fun. So. I'm looking forward to that, so stay tuned if you like this uh, type of stuff and uh, like the variability. Uh, I think it's going to be unique, and again, it's a great way if you're running your standard account and you're just maybe struggling or just trying to find a different way to play this a little bit, the extra added little challenge uh, is, is really neat. And I think using your scav uh, is a really smart thing to do as well. You can get some scav karma, and uh, you can get some things going with that as well. So with that... Doc, after gamer guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Quick plug here, like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all of the support to the channel. And just thanks for stopping into all the videos, clicking on them, watching them, throwing a comment down below. All that stuff really does help as we continue to grow and uh, just continue to hopefully provide good content that you guys and gals out there are enjoying watching. In addition to that, we do stream over on Twitch Fridays and Saturdays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time and randomly throughout the week in the evenings as well. That link is in the description. we got our Discord and our Twitter growing discord community escape for tarkov a whole bunch of other games we always post when we're going live do stuff with videos and all those kinds of things so be sure to stop over there and if you follow uh if you're a twitter user and you want to give us a follow over there we would appreciate that as well hopefully we can see you on a stream sometime real soon but that will close out and uh we'll see you in the next escape from tarkov video peace